Hey y'all, and welcome to Sketch and Teach Tech. I'm Ryan, a teacher and sketchnote fan. In the Simple Sketchnote series, we're going to build a sketchnote in small chunks, day by day, so that by the end of the week, we have a completed sketchnote done. The next reason we have to use sketch notes is that it allows us to make connections between complex ideas. So I am going to doodle a thought bubble with a question mark inside of it. And then I am going to connect this idea, this thought bubble with a chain link. So I'm making the physical connection between these two thought bubbles with this link. So when I am making connections between two ideas, I'm actually doing something called synthesizing data. So for my key point out to the side, I am going to use the word synthesis because that's what I'm doing. I'm synthesizing whenever I'm making those connections. The last reason that we have written down for why we use sketch notes is the fact that they help us organize information. So I am going to draw a few of the different structures of sketch notes that we have actually used um, doing these simple sketch notes. So the first one I'm going to draw, I'm going to label as radial. The next one is actually the structure we're using now of the Cornell method. The third structure that we have used in the past is a T-chart. And the final structure that we have used is a grid or modular structure. The key idea for this point is structure because that's what I use to organize the information in my sketch note. So tomorrow we will come in and we are going to color code our notes with colors. <laughs> 